Good day, good day, my people. Good day, my people. Today, I just want to teach you how to drive M A N. M A N stand for men. The logo of the king of the jungle. Then I want to teach you how to drive this truck. TGS two seven four forty. TGS two seven four forty. If you know, you know, guys. Let's go inside the truck and let me teach you how to drive it. First of all, you open your door, eh? Uh, you're gonna find this kind of patterns. So my truck is dirty here. Eh? You're gonna find this kind of patterns. This one is to release air totally from your chair. This one is to release air totally from your seat. When I press it out like this, you see, it's filling up the air. When I press it like this, it's release the air. When I press like this, it's doing the thing. And then this one here, when you push it like this, you lock your chair so that you won't uh, you won't be, I don't know what we call it in English, you won't bump, you know. But if you do this, when you're driving, your seat will be like, you see. But when you do like this, you lock it, you won't do that. Ne? Then this one is to adjust your seat up and down. When you do this, your seat is going to go up, up, you see. Then when you do this, your seat is going to go down and then this one this one here is to adjust this one so that it can go here or back or, or forward back or forward ne? and then this one is to pull your seat to go forward or back to adjust your seat so that you can go big if you are a short guy like me you need to pull this one and, and pull you need to do it on when well, you sit tight on top of your seat ne? You need to do this one like this then you push your, your seat forward ne? and then this one this one here under your seat is to adjust this one so that it can be like up like this or down like this ne? then as you know this is an automatic track there's no there's no uh, clutch you only have these two pedals here you only have accelerator and the brake we only have accelerator and the brake now we go inside ne? The, when you go inside when you climb on the track guys you will find this kind of thing this one you need to hold it then you to go step by step you go step by step then you go inside the track just like that now before i close the door let me show you this uh this one it's, it's, it's your lights this one then this is the picking lights this is your daylight or you can even pull this one then you switch on your picking light and your daylight same time if you don't want to do it right then this one is to adjust the distance of your lights how long do you want your lights to go for then if you do this it's gonna be too close um, let me see something yeah if you do this it's gonna be too close to your track but if you do this it's gonna be far away like it's gonna give you a light from the distance yeah? from the distance and then this one this one um, let me do this this one is your gear this one this one is your gear Remember, it's a TGS27440. And then when you press this button, when you press this button, you wanna, you're gonna you change it to automatic or manual car, manual gear. Ne? So this one is your retarder. Let me show you like this, maybe, uh, I don't know. I don't know if you can see it, yeah, exactly. This one is your retarder. Then your retarder, when you press you only press this button remember it's a hash brick when you press this button it's your hash brick 
it's your hash brick you don't have to press it while you are track it's on automatic and when you are loaded ne? but if you are on manual when you press it it's just gonna make like a com combination of a brick and a and a retarder same time stage five and a brick hash brick same time but it won't uh it won't uh react so badly ne? but don't do it if you are if you don't have experience of using it don't do it so you pr this one is your hash brick but if you want to do use the starter when you tap it down like this stage one stage two stage three stage four stage five then it's done when you want to release it you just press the accelerator you just press the accelerator it will release the 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 cruise the the retarder or you can just do it like going upwards it's just opposite ne? then you are gear here and you know that when you press it here you change it from automatic to manual print it just like that ne? but the thing that you can do here when you are changing a gear you tap it back to you you tap it back to you it's gonna say uh what's it say? when you tap it back to you it's gonna say gear one gear two just like that when you want to do a change down you just tap it back so just like that <coughs> just like that ne? and and cruise control of this track is not like those ones with the high roof with the buttons here and stuff this one doesn't have buttons here ne? when you want to do a cruise control on this one yeah, let me start the track when you want to do a cruise control on this track ne? you have to when you want to do a cruise control on this track you have to 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 to, to, to activate like this ne? or like this you activate it like this then when when you want to release it you just do like this it's this button it's this button this one is for cruise control ne? my people remember i want to teach you how to drive this track you wanna understand it no matter what my people let me close this window list this door let me close this door uh, <clears throat> let me and then there's this button here this one you press it to adjust your steering wheel to adjust this steering wheel ne? just because i just hold my phone when i press it like this you see then you lock it again you press it forward to adjust then you press it again to lock it you press here to adjust you press down to lock it then yeah my people because you can't drive a truck without adjusting your mirrors and stuff like that you need to adjust your seat you need to adjust your mirrors you need to adjust uh, everything so that you can you will be driving your truck uh, comfortably so when you want to adjust your right mirror you just press you just press here ne? then you adjust then you adjust your mirror as you can see here ne? i don't know if you can see it you see my mirror is moving here is where you can adjust your mirror my people it's where you can adjust your mirror then if you want to do uh the one the one here this small this small mirror here uh, you just press this button here you don't you don't you have to press this one then you press this one then you you adjust your mirror why okay you see it's moving it's moving you see my people so i don't know why is it not going to that side again so when you i want to adjust the left mirror you also press this one then when you want to adjust the small mirror down there you press this one but here when when you want to adjust that that one that small mirror there up there ne? you need to come here you need to come here and press here you see then you press here you play with the with the mirror now you see it's moving it's moving don't know if you can see it but it's moving you can even see the difference on the track there 
is moving né? yeah that's how we adjust our mirrors on this truck né? this is how we do it this is, is for the windows this one you press it up you see my window is closed there this one is for the left side né? passenger side window when i pull it i'll be closing the window when i push it down i'll be opening the window look at it i'm pulling it up you see then i put it down you close the window just like that even on the right side this one we use it to lock the doors yeah the doors this one you lock the doors you see when i press this one this one here i'm gonna unlock the doors you see just like that now let's come this side remember we are learning the whole this truck the interior of this truck even how to drive it né? so now my people as you know this is an aircon né? ac it's an aircon né? while you are driving your truck my people the important thing there's this button here i'm sure you saw it but you're asking yourself what is this for this one when you are driving a truck and you see there's a steam you can't see properly on your mirror you press this button when you press this button it's gonna clear your steam on the wind on the on the mirror there will be no steam if you press if you press this button né? you use it well there's a steam and then you also press this button if your windows this this windows have a steam you press this one and you open the air then this one is going to clean your windows né? so this one here if you are driving in a dust place and you don't want that dust to come inside via this uh this fan né? because if you don't press you need to press this button because if you don't press this button it means the whole dust or a steam or a, a, the whole dust or a steam or something like that is going to come through this and your truck is going to make your truck a mess up né? so you need to press this button so that air from outside won't come inside your truck the dust is outside the truck it won't come inside your truck but if you are driving on a on a, a tar road where there's no dust and something like that you can just press it like this and you leave it like this you will hear even though if you didn't open this one eh, you hear the air coming inside your truck the cool air you will just feel the cool air coming inside your truck <coughs> so now uh, let's come here guys this one this button here it's a guideline this one it's a guideline so when i press it like this and you see it on like this it means it's off it's off what does it work this one uh, it help you as a driver when you are driving and you are your truck is moving out of the way then it's gonna make a sound showing that you are not driving on your lane now you are driving on top of another lane it's either a yellow lane or a other lane from your right side or something like that once you drive on the lane this one is gonna help you don't switch off this button don't don't make it on like this it must be like this ne? it must be like this then these ones are diff locks you see these ones are diff locks and then this one is an exhaust then this one this one you use it when you are driving on the up wheels né? then there's a robot then you have to press this one so that it can hold your truck so that it cannot move back you press a button like this one here yeah. <coughs> then my people remember this m is not does it mean manual no 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 and this m rm is doesn't mean reverse manual and this dm it doesn't mean a, a drive manual no, no 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 this is a low gear most of the time you drive this one when you are stuck on the mud or when you 
when you are hooking the trailer you need to use a rm when you are hooking the trailer you need to go with rm so that your traverse can go very slow this one is a very slow one it's a very slow gear so when you are driving my people when you are driving remember when you're driving you put your truck on drive you just turn once like this on drive then here is your hand brake here is your hand brake your hand brake you need to you see the thing you need to pull it like this then you release it you release it just like that so then when you want to lock your gear you also pull it like this the, sorry then you put it like this then it's it's on your hand brake it's on my people so this one is so for those who have a uh, hydraulics cost but this truck doesn't have a hydraulic if you see the thing the pattern with this with the things here it's means for hydraulic ne? my people it's means for hydraulic then let us come here this ones are your interior light this one you can even drive when it's on eh? but this one will be high and lightly will be just that it's not it's not working eh? then this one is your light test this one this one is your light test when you want to test your lights you don't call someone to check for you no 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 you press this button when i press this button you see it's gonna write light test then you turn your key back to you like i don't know if, i don't know if you can see it my people you turn you turn your key like this you're gonna see your truck is gonna be reacting like this light test now it's testing the lights you see hazard now it's testing the hazard it's testing the light the picking light just like that it's gonna do like that until you came and press it again like this it's gonna write like this okay? so my people that's how you're gonna drive your truck and remember there's these things here these two things here is for a these things is for a if you are driving a truck and you see that these things are going down are going down like this just know that your truck is starting to lose air you need to stop and report your truck fast okay? but just because i'm stopped it's losing air it have to lose air because i'm stopped the air is coming out <coughs> now my people yeah and then this one is for hazard this one has that this one here yeah. let's come this side this one is your water on your left side this one this is this is not your gear this one is to your indicator when you tap it down you you'd indicate to your left when you do like this you indicate to your right when you do like this you flick the, your your headlights like uh, the way we do when you greet someone in the road you just do like you greet someone eh? and then this one when you adjust here you adjust your wipers to move fast or slow 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 okay let me let, let me just show you an example uh now you see it's on the slow mode eh? when i do like this you it's on this one only works if you put your as your your wipers on this on stage one eh? But when you put it all like this no 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 it won't work it won't work ne? and then this when you press like this it, it's, it's for water to to clean your windscreen but this one is your water you see just like that so i will be doing the, the everything that i was telling you ne? now i'm gonna start with uh these stages you see now i put it on stage one it's gonna be like what like this see it's gonna take time to wipe uh, your it's uh, to wipe your 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 windscreen it's going to do it again now it goes with a stage by stage stage by stage stage by stage 
You need to focus, my people. This is a TGS 27440. <coughs> hey, it's gonna take time, man. You see, I didn't press it. It takes time to wipe her. But when I put it on the last stage, it's gonna be like this. You see? You see? It doesn't take a long. But if I do like this, it's gonna be like this. It won't stop. It will be moving like this. So that's how that's how we we operate a main truck. A main truck. I can't just teach you guys how to drive a truck and you didn't know how to use how to switch on lights, how to how to use your wipers because these things you need to know them. Because you can go on top of the truck and then it started to rain. Then you're going to have a big problem. Let's do everything while I'm driving, my people. <laughs> 